European countries are working together on space exploration under the umbrella of the European Space Agency, ESA. Together, they create fascinating projects that would not be feasible for the individual member states. These projects generate new knowledge and new practical applications and contribute to a vigorous European aerospace industry. ESA has sites in several European countries. ASTEC, the largest site and the technical heart of ESA, and the incubator of the European space effort is in Nordvik in the Netherlands. Most ESA projects are born here, and this is where they are guided through the various phases of development. More than 2,500 people work here on dozens of space projects. Developing a space project is a complex process and often takes anything from 5 to 10 years. Every project starts with an idea for scientific research or for an application. The engineers at STEC look at the feasibility of an idea and then work it out step by step together with space industry. This is a painstaking process that cannot afford any mistakes since today it is impossible to repair a satellite once it is in space. ESA specialists are responsible for developing and testing the sophisticated technologies needed to make future projects possible. With more than 40 years experience, STEC has the in-house expertise for its wide-ranging task. The satellites are actually built by commercial companies which are accountable to ESA project teams at STEC. A team is closely concerned with every aspect of the construction at all times to ensure that the result meets all the requirements. The satellite must be tested thoroughly. For example, the severe vibrations experienced during a launch are simulated in the STEC test center. The satellite is also exposed to the tremendous noise a rocket generates to make sure it will not be damaged during the launch. In the space simulation facility, the test engineers can expose the satellite for several weeks to the vacuum conditions and the extreme temperatures in space to check the satellite will continue to work properly under these extreme conditions. Intensive testing goes on for months until ESA is satisfied that the satellite is capable of performing well for the whole of its planned lifetime. Once the testing has been completed at STEC, the satellite is carefully packed for transport to the launch site. A team of specialists accompanies the satellite to prepare it for launch on site. Depending on the mission, the satellite is sent into orbit by an Arium 5 or some other launch vehicle. Once the satellite is safely in orbit, responsibility for it passes to ESA's ESOC Ground Control Center in Darmst, Germany. The STEC specialist job is still not finished though. They are involved in starting up the instruments and solving any problems. ESA astronomers also carry out research at STEC using the results obtained by the satellites while other scientists in Nordvik set up the experiments that are conducted on the International Space Station. Music 
Europe's contributions to the space station, such as the Columbus Space Laboratory and the ATV cargo vehicle, were developed at ESTEC. A number of ESA astronauts are stationed in the Netherlands, so they can share their practical experience with the scientists and engineers. There is an information centre in the Erasmus building for researchers from commercial companies and universities who want to conduct experiments in the weightlessness of space. This is where ESA selects the new experiments for the space station, and it is from here that scientific support is provided. ESA also works from ESTEC to provide part of the day-to-day -day planning for missions involving European astronauts. ESA's people at ESTEC never sit still. While some of them are putting the finishing touches to satellites that are ready for launch, others are already working on new ideas. This is the cycle that has already resulted in dozens of successful missions making space exploration and applications in Europe a part of our daily lives.